Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out today with crude oil, folks. This is a daily chart that I've posted here. This is what we would call in technical analysis a class 10. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this chart that is just absolute perfection. I want you to see the ABCD pattern measuring to 73.15. You'll see that the 78% retracement comes in at 73.27. That's where the sale would be, uh, risking 40 pips. We hit that. I, last I saw it was trading at 73.27. So your risk here is only 40 pips. But this is perfect, folks. And the reason why is you'll go from your low part in the A leg right here. And if you count the number of bars up, you're going to see you're going to be looking. Just do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bars up. Then we go down to the C leg, one, two, three, four, five, six. Today's the seventh bar up, and it's making a perfect A, B, C, D. And look at the slope of the lines, folks. They're both at exactly 45 degrees, which is just is truly amazing. But the high today was 73.48. Our stop is at 73.68, so we're risking 50, 40 pips on that, $400. We were very bullish that coming in this whole week because it had such a perfect setup to make a high on the seventh day and here's where we are so that's why it's so very very important remember folks when these patterns fail and when they fail they uh, they go a long way to the upside we're going to be covering a bunch of stuff about the stock market too but uh, let's and Alfie Lavoy from Air Software will be our guest but I wanted to show you some of the things uh, that happened uh, last night that I think were, were uh, Let's get this up here so we can see it. We always talk about the, the 382 retracements and some of these things that we look at each day. And I just wanted to, to share with you, I wanted to show you one that was happening uh, yesterday. And we talked about this a little bit. And the fact that this market, oh, let's get the chart up, Larry. That would help a lot, wouldn't it? Okay, there's a November soybean chart. It's a 15-minute chart. You can see the action over the last few days here. There was your first 382 retracement right here. There was your second one uh, yesterday. The market came down here, and it looks like it's got a target down here at this level here of uh, 1311 uh, per bushel. And what happened was uh, what I just did before we came on the air, I, I brought it up to date to see where we are, and we're only a few pennies away now. Uh, from that target that we're looking at. Remember, the targets work about 60% of the time. Sometimes they work a lot of times in a row, and other times they don't work at all in a row. So that's the way it is. You just got to pay your money and take your choice, and when you're wrong, you get out of Dodge. Anyway, there's your uh, price objective here. I would ordinarily buy this with both hands, but because we're in a weather market and it's a weekend, Gee, it's really tough. So I think we're going to wait and see what happens. Maybe it opens sharply higher on Monday, Sunday night. I don't know. But if it opens sharply lower, at least I can protect my risk here because I'm not going to have a position on while the market is not open so that I can put my stop in. Sure, I could buy it and put a stop in. But if the market gaps and it could gap 30, 40, 50 cents below that level, that makes it pretty, pretty difficult. Now, we had a really nice move here in gold this week, folks. We got down to that 1908 level. Uh, we rallied up to 1938 uh, and then back down to uh, 1908, which was a 78% level. But take a look here at this is the gold miner index, folks. This could be a precursor of what could be happening in the gold and also in silver because we've made this big number right here, this big 382 going back to way back in here. So it's got a really good chance here that this may be a major low uh, in the uh, gold market. So far, we've been able to take 
a little bit of the action out of it, which is good. But remember, we don't take it all. You've got to leave for nobody. Nobody buys at the low and sells at the high. Sure, there's a few people that have to do it because that's how the print is. But most of the people take a bit a bit out of the middle. Bernard Baruch said in his book, my my own story. He said I made my living by taking the 60 percent between the low and the high and the high and the low. He said I didn't try to get the high. I didn't try to get the low. And that was the reasoning why I think I've done so well. Now, I wanted to, uh, I, was, I was going through this today because I wanted to show you folks what had happened yesterday in the market because this was very, very important. And, and of course, it's all changed today, but we are expecting that change. And I'll show you why. This is the E mini SP. Okay, now this is where we were yesterday. You know, see, we made the big ABCD down in here. The Dow was down 300 points at that point. Then it drops another 400 points. Okay, this is the S&P, though. And it drops all the way down here to it's down uh, 75 handles from the high. Then it rallies up yesterday to the exact 382 yesterday right there at that uh, 4452. Um, okay, then last night it comes right down here. We're trading at 4625. And from that level, we we're expecting the market to start to rally. The reason why, there was a lot of distribution coming in here. This market just didn't give up and go straight down from here. But once it got above the 382 level, I want to show you what happened because that's part of the reason why we've been watching these. Let's get this up here so we can see it really easily. And hold on one second. We'll take a quick look at it here. And the key, the key part about this, and we'll be talking about this on the all-day trading session that we're going to be doing on August the 2nd. You see the way that it comes out of point C here, folks? When that comes out of there like that, you can almost rely. You don't want to bet on it, but you can rely on the market making an extension of the AB leg. In other words, the AB leg is this much. The CD leg will be extended by either 1.27 or 1.618. You can see the 61% retracement here was 44.68, and it went through that just like melted butter. Last I saw it was 44.75. We could easily get above this, folks. If that's it, this was a two-day correction, and my goodness, we could see some fireworks in some of these markets. Remember, folks, we talked about a Tesla and some of these others. But they're not giving up very much. If you just watch what Meta's been doing, and even Tesla, uh, some of these others, they've held up extremely well. There's no uh, indication of a crash of any time. When I did that big trade saying, you know, to, to go short up there, that uh, and, and we were lucky. We got a nice piece of the action on the downside. I wasn't expecting a crash scenario to, uh, to come out. The only time I've ever expected that was the one time I got it right. That was 38 years ago in, in 1987, uh, 30, 36 years ago, in 1987, on the harmonic conversions. Everything lined up, and I got very, very lucky on that one. But uh, mainly what I'm looking for is I look at ABCD patterns, folks. When I find ABCD patterns at work, those are the one that I'm doing. And you're seeing an ABCD pattern in the crude oil. And, and of course, it may go straight up from here. But uh, by the way, if it gets above 73.68, it would be a, a losing trade. But uh, that's what we're watching. So let's pay uh, very, very close attention to it because it is it is very, very important. We want to uh, let's just bring up the other. We've got to we've got to break him in. We'll be right back, folks. 877-927-6648. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, 
dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 okay we're back folks and i wanted to show you the chart of the nasdaq you see yesterday we went right up to the 382 retracement and we started backing off here today and i sent this out exactly at this point because I felt this was where it was probably going to turn from. We were sitting right at the 61% retracement on the S&P. The Dow had been making new lows, but the S&P was the one that was following the program the best. Now, all I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, update this with a couple of the ABCD things that we look at here uh, in the market, and you'll be able to see it. There's where we are. We have uh, we've gone up. We've completed the ABCD. We've gone above. 61% retracement by quite a bit but uh, you'll notice here how the market explodes out of this area that's telling you that it has a very very high probability of you know going beyond the ABCD and here it does by just a little bit but those are the main ones we're, we're looking at these are these are smaller time frame charts 15 minutes sometimes they're absolutely perfect but they the absolute perfect one was the was the um, crude oil today. That that was perfect at uh, 73.27. Whether it works or not, I don't know. Above 73.68, it's Sayonara. We won't have anything to do with that one. Here's one, folks, that uh, we've been bearish on for a very very long time, and that is the uh, Treasury bond market. We've been saying to folks, higher interest rates are coming, whether they come today, tomorrow. Or the next day but you can see the 382 retracement that we had here along with the AB and folks this one fell off the you know you know it came way down below here folks we we're probably heading down to test the old bottom at 118 whether that's going to happen or not remains to be seen but this is one of the reasons I'm showing you all of these because when we have really strong trending markets like we've had these last few days these patterns react to the 382 retracements you know extremely well now, because you've been so nice today, what we're going to do is we're going to take a trip over to Germany, folks, 
over to the Deutschland, and we're going to take a look at the German DAX because today you can see that the German DAX on a daily basis has just completed a beautiful Gartley right in here. And of course, with the strength in our market, you can see what happened to the DAX. It already started up before we did. It was setting right out. This is a absolute perfect A, B, C, D. This is the upside down version of the crude oil. Okay, so that's basically what you're looking at right here. And it measures right to that spot. And of course, it rallied, you know, substantially from that level. All right, now we need to do something else. Since we've been over to the Deutschland, we want to go over to see the Queen over there. And we're going to do it two ways. First of all, that was the German DAX. Now we're going to take a look at the FTSE on the daily. And uh, you'll see here that this one is not quite doing a perfect Gartley as of yet, but it's made some very, very strong ABCD patterns that we'd like to point out to you because ABCD is where you want to play the game, folks. And as you can see here, there's the big one right here, hasn't completed yet. That comes in right about there, but look at the smaller ones, how they're lining up. And so it's going to be either this level or this level. I will be, I will be surprised. This could be the double bottom, but uh, I, I would not be surprised to see us get here in the next week or so. In other words, one more move up down here, completing that bigger ABCD, and then back up again for another part of the rally. Uh, next week, uh, Mike Moore is going to be our guest on Monday. On Tuesday, uh, I hope to have Paula Webb. On Wednesday, I hope to have Stan Harley. On Friday, for sure. Oh, not, not this coming Friday, but in August. Uh, he was supposed to be here this week. Uh, was Peter Elides, but Peter's on vacation. He's going to be with us in August, and he promised that, uh, well, he made the, the inf inference that he would like to be on at least once a month to share some of his ideas that he has because uh, he's, uh, he's really good at what he does, okay? So anyway, that's it. Now let's take a look at one other thing, and... Since we're in the, over there with the Queen, let's take a look at the British pound, folks, because we've got a situation that looks like the British pound is getting ready to make a big move to the downside. Now, we put this up here. You'll be able to see it. There's where we are. And it looks like it's getting ready to turn and roll over from this level right here. Okay, so that remains to be seen. But right at this level right here, this is where your risk level is the smallest. You've got a beautiful Gartley pattern, A, B, C, D, sets right up here. Come down, you're right back at the retracement level right here. That's mother God and country. If you get above this level, you know you're wrong. If not, you're going to make it down here. That's going to be about a 5 to 1 payoff. And if you get a 5 to 1 payoff with the probability of winning by 60%, you don't get those odds very often, folks. So those are the ones that you have to pay, you know, very, very close attention to. All right? Okay, now I had one other one that I thought was going to be pretty interesting here today. I've already covered uh, the Tesla. I, w I wanted to bring the, the chart up of Apple because, folks, th this is the gift that keeps on giving. I mean, my God, this stock never goes down. Well, it does once in a while. But and take a look at this. We went up and we, we completed that pattern. Okay, and then the very next day, which was yesterday, what had happened? Or to, excuse me, yesterday. Today was the day that it reversed. It went down and filled this little gap right in here, and now it's gone all the way back to 192 and higher. So that's telling you that this market is not finished yet, and so maybe the stock market is not finished yet. We don't know. I mean, but all we're doing is looking at the patterns, trying to find ones that work for us. We had a really good week. You know, I didn't take the, take all the things, all the moves out of everything, but we took. The only loss we had was uh, we nibbled at the bonds on the long side for eight ticks, which was a. Uh, $250, but all the others work pretty darn good. So that's what we're trying to do here is to put the patterns in sequence so that we can see them unfolding. But none is any clearer than this one in the crude oil today. That means it probably won't work. I'm not being negative. I'm just being alert because if we get above 7368, it's definitely a failure. It's done everything it's supposed to do, but it hasn't started to go down yet. You know, it's still trading at this. I just saw a flash here. On Bloomberg at 73.31, and we bought it at, uh, sold it at 73.27 with a stop at 73.67. So those are the things that we're paying attention to. Those of you that are watching the euro, folks, the euro has made a major reversal here today, and I don't know if that's going to affect the gold market or not because uh, the dollar certainly affects it. But with the euro getting strong, 
the fact that the dollar is uh, is uh, uh, weakening, and that usually means it's going to be strength to the gold market. But so far, gold is still up on the date nicely, uh, about uh, twelve fifteen dollars. Uh, we bought it the other day at nineteen fifteen. We sold it at nineteen thirty two, then covered the short and went long at nineteen fifteen and made seven dollars on that one. And then I decided, well. I think we'll wait one day before we do anything. And, of course, it went right down to the 78% level, and away it went to the upside. So we'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Stay tuned for Alfie Lavoie. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at tfnn.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back. We've got a real treat today. We've got Alfie Lavoie in the house. Alfie, how are you doing today, my friend? Good. I'm doing real good. <laughs> Alfie, uh, I I don't want to. I, I don't think you uh, have any problem telling folks how old you are. But uh, you've been doing this for so many years. I won't even ask. But you, I think, didn't you just have your 87th birthday, Alfie? 88th birthday. 88th. Oh, my gosh. You're still going yeah. strong. That's really great. Oh, my goodness. Now, when did you get start doing astrology, Alfie? I started doing astrology back in 1952. Wow. 
70 years some yeah. wow that's amazing holy cow and you've been yeah, that's been funny. that's been your funny. source of income yeah. yeah it's funny because you know i was playing semi pro hockey and i yeah, got my kneecap that. taken on i ended yeah. up in the hospital and back in the 50s of course there was no penicillin so i had a staph infection my leg got big and everything they were going to cut it off and oh this i was really depressed and this nurse came around and brought me a book how to cast your own horoscope and she said that's going to change your whole life and it did wow that's amazing Yes, yeah. we've been back to visit Alfie and Carol several times. But uh, Alfie, tell the folks, uh, because this is such an important thing from my perspective, because Air Software is where I get all these ideas for all these lunar cycles and all the stuff that I worked on when I was doing the book, you know, some many, many years ago. But tell tell how long it's taken to do the Air Software program, because uh, I know so many, well, the Foundation for the Study of Cycle uses it, Bill Meridian uses it, I mean... This, well, everybody mm -hmm. does cycle work, does it? So tell, tell the derivation of how this all started. Well, you know, believe it or not, back in the 80s, I had a guy that come knock on my door at my school. I had an astrology school. And supposedly he had a seat on, on uh, uh, up in New York, you know. And uh -huh. uh, we started talking, and he said to me, if you can write a software that you can predict the market 51% of the time. I'll make you money. <laughs> 51% of the time. So he got me, he got me into it. And, uh, you know, we, we, we've been writing software to predict the market for a long time, since the 80s. And about like eight, nine months ago, I stopped and I said to myself, you know, we got three pieces of software right now, and a lot of stuff in there, especially in the titanium, there was like stuff in there that didn't even work. You know, when you write software, people buy it and they and they trade the market and they say, Alfie, put that in, put that in. So you add all this stuff and it doesn't work, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so what I did in the last nine months is I spent, you know, 12 hours a day, almost seven days a week taking every part about it and changing models and changing this. And now we're almost completed with three different pieces of software. And I'm testing that out in the last couple of days. And I did about like 60 stocks so far. And it, it seems like you can predict with, with the new software that we got now, 85% of the time correctly. Oh, that's so really this, good, I yeah. think this is better than, than ever. And That's really good. Uh, so we're going to release the, those pieces of software in about a month. Well, you let me know and we'll have you on. We had Grace Morris as our guest on Wednesday, and I hadn't spoken to her for oh, a couple of years, but uh, uh, we've uh, uh -huh. you know, we were talking about you and stuff. But she's been doing this as just a little less than you have, but she's still going strong, and uh, you know she's been doing it for about forty years. So. You know, folks, I yeah. guess it must be something to it if they can keep doing it all those years and people keep coming back. So my hat's off to you. Alfie, let me ask you a question. What is, uh, you know, I like looking at lunar cycles, you know, because, uh, you know, I, I watch these little ABCD patterns that are the thing that I follow the closely and then I count the days into these things. But is there any particular thing that would make a new moon or a full moon more powerful? Would it be the conjunction of a Mercury or something else? Does that help when, when they're all lined up together? Yeah, it, it does. But, you uh -huh. know, I found also that, uh, 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 especially in the Tao, okay, that certain, uh, 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 when the moon is in Scorpio, it seems like uh, the market goes down. So that's two and a half, two and a half days rough, roughly when the moon stays in one sign, you know? Uh -huh. And uh, so I'm finding a lot of stuff, and I, I'm going to write a new book on it when this is all done. And, uh, you know, I, I feel it works now. And, you know, the problem with, with astrology is there's so many things going on in the sky at the same time. <laughs> some of them bring the market down and some of them bring the market down up. Yeah. So yeah. you, you have to sort of uh, be able to distinct between them. And this is what we can do now. Uh -huh. Actually, I have a, 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 a piece now in the software where you can say, okay, 
let's see when when the market goes down five percent each time, okay? And here's all this stuff in the sky that that's going on, you know, or that could be going on. Which one takes it down? And then what it does is it screens them out. It screens this one, it brings it down 70% of the time, 60%. And then you can take these, these criteria uh, that works and either going up and down and put them into neural net. And you're the one that turned me on neural net, you know, mathematic. Oh, yeah, a long and, time ago. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it yeah. goes to the first day of, of your stock that you download. Let's see that. You download a stock that is started in 1976. It goes down yeah. to the first day and it says, these things were going down and it was going on in the sky and the market went down. We'll put this, uh, give it a weight of 7%, 70% down, depending on what on what that is. And it keeps going back and forth, back and forth, till it curves fit in and then we do when the analysis in the back and when it curves fitting, you can forecast it ahead. You'd be surprised yeah. how accurate that is. Well, listen, listen, I want you to do this for me. When you get ready to release it, I want you to get in touch with me because we'll have you on for the whole hour. And we want to do some demonstrations of what the program can do because I've seen it. And people that haven't seen something like this deserve to uh, be able to take a look at that. We think we'd be able to do that in it whenever it's ready. Yeah. Oh, sure. Okay. Well, please, yeah. uh, we're going to have you back I'm on. All, yeah, I'm all in twos now with, with, with uh, you know, what it can do. I okay, knew good. that it could do it because Mick Witters back in the 34, she'd done a lot of work. And, uh, you know, I, I was using a lot of her stuff. And some work, some didn't work. But, of course, she didn't have a computer, you know. So now with yeah. computers, I tested and teared everything apart. So now I, I really feel that this is it. Okay. Well, we're going to have you on again soon, my friend. So please uh, remind me, okay, and tell Carol I said hello, okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you, for Alfie. We're going to have okay, you back well, on again yeah. soon. So please don't forget, all right? That's very important that you no, do that. No, I won't because, forget. All right. So, <laughs> well, let's keep in touch. Yeah. You bet. We certainly Bye -bye. will. Bye-bye. Okay, folks, we got just a few seconds here, but something happened just a few seconds ago as we just made an ABCD in the Dow Jones at uh, 43,244, 34,234, 877-927-6648. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors.
Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I posted the uh, chart of the Dow Jones E Mini here on a 15-minute chart over the last few days. You can see on the far left is where we made our high uh, back here on Friday before the holiday. Now, you've come down now, and you've, you've seen just a few minutes ago, we hit the exact number right here, the 382 retracement at uh, 43,000, 34,000. It'll be 43,000 pretty soon, but 34,244. So we were trying to sell at 32,240. And then we we'll only risk 100 points on that. Now, uh, we, we caught a bunch of that move to the downside, as most of you know. But, folks, when we're doing these patterns, you know, when you have these tremendous rallies like we have today, no one knows when that stuff happens. They really don't. And so you can't really – you can't do anything – that would make you think that it's something, you know, that you can predict because you can't. All you can do is to look at the pattern and then try to see, you know, what you were looking at. This is what we were looking at. If you remember, uh, we talked about this on this show many times, and you'll you'll see where we went to. Hold on one second. I'll, I'll get this up here, hopefully, and I think we will. Just get it up here. This is where we started just a few days ago up there at that level. And then we were able to cover it. And then, of course, it's just rallied back to a 382 retracement of this down move that just occurred here these last few days. Now, the Dow Jones has gone just to the exact 382. I didn't even have a chance to check the Russell today because I, I don't trade that. But the S&P has gone higher than it didn't make the 78% level, but it's sharply higher than the 61% retracement. And the NASDAQ went higher than the 61% retracement. But the NASDAQ, you got to expect that because you're only talking about 10 stocks. And when they're in the news every single day, they just keep beating it. You know, you've got Broadcom, Apple, Google, uh, Facebook, uh, Tesla, all of them are, are lined up there. And NVIDIA, I mean, they're all there, and they're all, you know, very, very expensive, and that means they're they're cap-weighted, and so that makes it uh, very, very powerful. Whereas the Dow, they're only price-weighted, and so it's only the real expensive stocks of the Dow that makes it move, Goldman Sachs and United Healthcare, and some of the others, okay? So that's what we're paying attention to today, so let's remind ourselves if that's what goes on now. Uh, I, I already posted that chart of Apple and what happened to it. The same thing with Tesla. It went down. There was never any panic during this time. So the fact that these things have done what they've done really doesn't mean a whole lot because it's just normal market action. There's no – we haven't seen a crash type or even coming crash type scenario. And I believe me, folks, I've been in the crash type scenario, so I know what to expect. And that gets down to our old friend. Yes, Johnny, I know. Put the placard up. Yeah. Well, anyway, I've learned so much over the past four years from Tom Hugard about the uh, darn thing. Folks, I have to tell you a story. Uh, Tom is buying my, my library. You know, I've got, oh, God, i got so many books. So I said, all right, I'll send you a sample copy of all the books that I have. I'll pick out 20 of them at random. And if you want to buy them, you know, I told him what I was in the thing for over thousand books over a period of 60 years so I picked out uh, 20 books I take it over to the uh, post office to send by the cheapest way to go they don't have one by boat so it's got to go by a priority and so she weighs the 20 books and when she told me how much it was going to cost 
I, I literally lost it. I said, are you kidding me? I said, shut the front door and raise the rent. $210 for me to send books to Bournemouth. $210. I mean, you know, and, and you add all those books, you're talking thousands of dollars just in postage. So I told Tom, I said, Tom, we'll have to figure out some other way to do it. So anyway, that's the way uh, I had to approach that. Okay, let's move on here to uh, one of the other charts from that group that we were talking about. And I wanted to bring it to you now because it's the euro. It's really come back here pretty good. Oh, dear, just a second here. For, for some reason, it's just not, it just doesn't want to go over here. There we go. Here we got it right now. All right, see, we've come down here. We had a nice sell-off. We did really good. And then today, today's action in the euro is very important. I, I don't have the intraday up yet because I can't get it up and do it at the same time. But we're back up here at this 109 and change level. Folks, we had $1,000 in that, which was nice. We covered it. And now uh, the last couple of days, we've been waiting for this and it's just explode. We wanted to go a little bit lower. We didn't quite get there, but it, this is exploding to the upside now. So this is getting ready. And if this gets above here, if this gets above here, this means the dollar is going to be weakening. And that is not going to be negative to the gold and silver markets. And both of those look extremely well. I mean, they're, they're healthy markets. They're really acting very good. You remember on the gold market uh, this past week, you know, we, we said ahead of time, you know, the gold was going to get down to the area that we thought it was going to be. Let's get the darn thing up here so we can see it. There it is, gold. Move that over here, and you'll be able to see. We went to the, almost nearly the exact price, folks, here in the gold, and that was nothing more then a 382, but there was something else there. I want to get it up here to show you. It's very important. You see how the market did the same move right here in the same move right there? That's same. They're equal moves to the downside. That's the harmonics of the market, and it's setting exactly at the 382, which is 1905. The low was 1902.80, and from there we rallied up $35 already, and now we're we're still trading at 1933. So these are these are the ones that are really uh, really exciting. And silver is the same thing, folks. Um, there there's talk now that you know silver is becoming more of a precious metal than a. Uh, hold on, let me get this up here so we can see the same thing in the silver market. <clears throat> get it up. <clears throat> silver has not even was not even able to make its target. Let me get down here to show you uh, because all it could do was make a 50% retracement. It would not complete the ABCD. It would only get down to the 50% retracement. Now it's rallied back up into this area right here. Now these moves, you'll see this move right here, okay, was very similar to that move right there. That's exactly what it was. Now the problem is the ABCD didn't complete perfectly in silver, where it, as it did in the gold market. So the gold is the one we traded because you had more information to tell you whether it was going to be good or not. So that's why we're watching it, okay? That's the main thing. You know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, and that's all you can say. All right, let's move on here to uh, one other thing here, and we'll be right back. Uh, we've, we're not quite yet because we've got a uh, few minutes left before the thing. Uh, go through who our guests will be next week. We'll be Mike Moore on Monday, Tuesday, Paula Webb. Wednesday, I believe, we'll have Stan Harley. Uh, Thursday, we're hoping to have the Shane Man, the Wolf Trader, as our guest. And he'll be on uh, also. So let's uh, keep those folks in mind for next week. We're going to have a busy week uh, coming through here. I want to do one other chart here that is extremely important, and that is that British pound chart that we were waiting to show you what it was looking like because it is back up to this level right here. Pay close attention to the British pound now, folks, because we're back up into this area where it looks like it wants to be in a sales zone. These are things that I cover when I do the daily videos. You can see here we got this lovely 135 pattern and we're we're trading right about this level right here now. So it's not going to be very hard to put a trade on because the risk parameter will be very small, probably three, four hundred dollars at the max. So uh, it's it's set up yet, but not quite yet. I mean it's just almost there. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I would like to show you the chart of the crude oil one more time. This is a perfect Gartley pattern where AB equals CD in both time and price. This is what WD GAN talked about, the squaring of price and time. You notice the slope of the red lines, they're all at 45 degree angles. 786 on that move was at 73.27. The stop was 73.67, 73.68, risking $400. If you're right, it could have several dollars to the downside per barrel. And if you're wrong, you're going to lose $400 and say thank you very much and go on to the next pattern. Because when these patterns fail, they're telling you something, and that's what you have to be really, really careful with. It's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. Focus on how much you're going to risk, not how much you're going to make. And you're going to be far better off than if you just start throwing dart, darts at it and uh, you know not getting, you know, getting anywhere. So that's what we're paying attention to here today. Uh, have a wonderful weekend. Uh, it was a really nice 4th of July weekend for me. I played in three poker tournaments. I was able to cash a little bit of money, a few hundred dollars and two out of the three. And we were able to give some money to charity, uh, helping the homeless here in Tucson. And boy, there's a lot of them. But some of them really need help, especially the servicemen folks, the veterans. Uh, some of these guys are really, they've been hurt badly. Anyway, that's mainly what we're looking at now. So have a wonderful weekend. You know, try to help your neighbors the best you can, because uh, remember, folks, uh, we're all in this together. 
doesn't make any difference about color, creed, any of that stuff. We're all going to the same place when the final bell is rung. So try to do as much as you can for other people. You can't take it with you. Remember that, folks. You just can't take it with you. There's just no way that you can do that. So don't even tempt to. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. And this is Billy Ray Valentine signing off for TFNN at 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Sign our folks. Thank you.